This webinar is focusing on the resources for climate change. And we've created a page on the AAG website in the GCE section that focuses and on the climate change resources. And these we're going to go over briefly uh, this evening just to give you an overview of what they are. As uh, a teacher, you'll have time to uh, review these and explore them uh, and see what all is uh, relevant for your particular um, classroom. And the first one uh, that we'll be looking at is a professional development slide on teaching and learning about climate change, the teaching about global climate change online module. Then we'll also look at the classroom modules and case studies on our Center for Global Geography Education. And then we'll also look at a few online tools and then discuss ideas for youth exchange projects. So getting started on this, um, this is the introductory page for the Teaching About Global Climate Change website. When you first get into the module, you're going to see a page like this. It's going, you can click the register now. It's a free registration, just a very quick registration. Um, since it does have teacher forms, everyone needs to have a user ID and uh, log in so that you can participate in the forums. So you can also click the register here button, the register now button here, or you can click the register button at the top. And that will take you into um, the very first thing that you do is take a fast facts quiz. And these are 10 facts about global climate change. And this is presented um, as the first thing that you do. And along the navigation bar, you can see the other topic areas that are included. And at this point, I'm going to switch to that particular resource. This is the actual online uh, site. You can see that Climate 101, FAQs, frequently asked questions about climate change, common misconceptions about climate change. These are student misconceptions that we've addressed. And most importantly, I think, for your project is the resource portal. In the resource portal, it will show you a list of resources that have been compiled and reviewed uh, for classroom use. And this is for teachers to learn uh, more about this, but also for things that you can use with your students, such as carbon footprint calculators and uh, different programs and sources of, of accurate research information. If you select these resources, if you go through and select the ones that you would like uh, to take away from the site, you can select them by checking in the boxes and click Email My Resources. You enter your email address, and it will email these to you. And in this way, you will have the links with the annotation information about the resource in your inbox and then it'll be there for you to use uh, at your convenience. So this is, this is kind of the nature of uh, the teaching about global climate change um, online professional development. If you're not familiar with a lot of the climate change science, we do have uh, a very brief explanation that's very focused where we explain the the research on past climates, what's happening on present climates, talking about climate modeling and doing analysis, and also in, in the future looking at how people are uh, predicting future climate change. So these things are all available to you in this particular resource. Now, um, going back, let's take a look at our next resource, which is the AAG Center for Global Geography Education. The direct URL for this is courses 
www.aag.org. When you get to the website, you will see a list of, of classes or courses that are available. These phase two modules are listed. You'll notice that we have the global climate change where there's guest access. Now, these are available without having to create an account. So in order to do it, you would click on that link. It'll take you to a login page where you will log in as a guest. Again, since there's guest, guest access for these modules, you will not need to create a new account. You can just log in as a guest. When you log in, then it will take you to this list of the collaborative uh, projects and topics that are inside of the climate change module. So there's some background information. Um, there's project instructions. Different activities are all included in that um, list of resources on the uh, global, the Center for Global Geography Education resource. The next resource that we're going to talk about is the Change Matters Viewer. This is a tool that you can use with your students. It's a new tool uh, hosted by Esri, and it's Landsat imagery going spanning from 1975 up to, I believe, 2005. There are different time periods that are covered, and it lets you look at this. And again, I've preloaded a couple of topics to show you this resource so that you get a better sense of, of what exactly um, you can do with this particular resource. So in the Change Matters uh, website, I've preloaded pre um, uh, Davao City in the Philippines. And this is looking at 1975 and 2000. And in these particular images, and then the third image is the change showing vegetation increase and vegetation decrease. And it's very interesting, but I'm sure that you can all see there it looks like there's been a lot of urbanization and, and growth in the particular city and outlying areas around the city. So from 1975 to 2000, we see a great deal of change in this particular area. And students, you can, you can plug in different locations and look at the change in infrared. Um, you can also select different uh, choices for the uh, imagery to be displayed in. Uh, some of the imagery, most of the imagery is all available in infrared. You'll have a little bit of limitation if you choose some of the other options for displaying. You might have to select different time series in order to show this. Um, another example of the using the change matters, I went to um, a site since Washington State in the US is also participating in this project. I loaded Glacier Peak Wilderness. And as you can see, there's quite a large ice and snow cover in the infrared in 1975, uh, shrinking and much less in 2000. And, it, and it's also the interesting, the way that this color is coming up. It might be an interesting question for your students. But my, my uh, guess would be that there's probably not very much vegetation as the melt. Uh, is retreating. And then this is, shows the percent of change from increase and decrease. So again, loading these locations um, gives your students some perspective on what changes have taken place. And, and as we deal with climate change, we're going to be looking for exactly that kind of uh, uh, data to show the students change over time. <clears throat> 